G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So I've just finished work and we're going to work on the eight foot tank. That's Kyle just there. He's um, building a kitchen for his parents, so that's why he's hanging around after hours. Um, but first of all, we need to vacuum the tank. Alright guys, so we've got the Hilti vacuum out. I finished cleaning up those inside edges we were talking about that I was cleaning the other day. Oh, that doesn't sound too happy, does it? Um, and I got all the bracing today, all the bits that I ordered. And I also got the glass fronts for the ply tanks. And I got the doors for my reptile enclosure which um, I'll also be vlogging the build of that enclosure and I might even be seeking advice from fellow reptile keepers on the page because I don't know how to do all the heating and everything yet so keep an ear out if you're into your reptiles all right so I've wiped the glass over six times. This is our bottom bracing. Um, I've wiped the bottom ten times, vacuumed it three times, and now we're gluing once. Wipe six times, glue once, that's how you want to roll. Um, I haven't does, decided on a method for gluing this. I think I'm just going to do like a massive bead and like sink it into the bead. Um, drop a comment if you think that that's a shit way of doing it but by that stage it'll be too late because I will have already done it. Um, I've got a rag there to pick it up because I don't want to pick that up with my hands. So uh, let's get stuck into it. Should I grab two rags guys? This is really hard to pick up. Ah, oh, now it's upside down. Um, Not quite sure if that was enough silicone yet. I guess we're about to find out. Alright, so now it's just a small bead along the bottom. And the tube ran out right before we finished. Alright, so I finished siliconing that end. Now I'll just give it a thumb or a finger. We're just fingering the tank. I'm pretty immature, aren't I know. But we'll keep fingering the tank. Alright, so now we just do the other side. This side's got a bigger brace, so I'm trying to get a little bit more glue. Alright, so just finishing off the bead around the bottom there. Alright guys, so I didn't actually order bracing for those two ends. And this piece here only cost me $13. So I'm low-key regretting that I don't have silicon for them there. But, I don't know. I'll think about it over the next 24 hours and decide whether I'll put some bracing in there or not. Alright so next up we're cutting some bracing to hold the top bracing so it's bracing for the bracing. Got this uh, 1970s fucking band saw. Oh shit I said fuck. I was trying to cut swearing out of my vlogs. I've been doing well guys don't you think? At not swearing? 
um, this is actually pretty hard with one hand and mildly dangerous. Guys, please do not use a bandsaw with one hand. Um, obviously here, again, preparation is key for all your works on your fish tank. Done. So we've got six braces for our two braces. Alright, so guys, I forgot to mention the most important part. Um, if you want a bit of a planted tank update, the tank inside the house, don't forget to head over to the Patreon page because yesterday was a Patreon video about the planted tank. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm pot melting a, a, the brace to the tank. Um, if you're building a tank, a hot melt glue gun is going to be your best friend. Uh, we don't want these braces moving. And um, you just really can't be a hot melt glue gun in this situation, I found. It takes five minutes to clean it off. And look, so we've got a, a really nice flat surface to glue the bracing on, so we know it's going to be nice and square and fun. I am actually thinking about smashing off a couple of more of those um, bottom plates. I'm not really sure why the person has put bracing around, you guys can see the, the bracing around the holes. I've never done it personally. I've only seen it done a couple of times. But like, I drilled the bottom end of my 7x4, my, my 8 foot 7 by 2 foot 7 I drilled that. And I've never had it, I've never had them crack on the hole. Now, now that I've said that to you, I can guarantee that I'm going to get one crack on the hole. Murphy's Law, as soon as you say it's never happened. I'm thinking about buffing the front panel too, guys. Let me know what you think. It's only a breeder tank, do I bother buffing it? Um, with uh, Barkeeper's helper, or do I just leave it as is? Alright, so I've got a bead of silicon on this. I didn't record it, you guys have seen enough of the silicon gun today. So just on my braces, and then just push forward. I'm thinking about it. I probably should have cut that out a bit there. My bad. Um, so I might just take that a bit. Just pull it in because it is jamming on the um, silicon a bit there. Alright, uh, alright. Stop a bit, okay. Oh, I'm not, not in the silicon. My bad. I think it's not really working. Because I've got silicon on my hands. And then I need to take down to my jigs too because I'm obviously pulling the bracing up here. Alright guys, it's been quite a long time since I built a tank this size. And I've actually completely forgotten how much silicon you actually use. I've been through so much. Uh, I think six or seven tubes. Seven I think. Um, it's insane. 
granted that I am doing extra bracing and stuff, so that all uses more silicon. Um, so this side, I'm going to try and get the tape on it and not let it fall back so we don't get the air bubble in it like the other side got. Alright, so I ended up putting a couple of clamps on it. They're not tight, they're quite loose. It's just because the silicon in the corner there is pushing the other silicon out. So in hindsight, I should have cut the corners out. But we're here now. Alright, so I just got these little corners to do now, guys. So that's silicon all the way into the corner. And against the end. And then I'll, I'll um, I've got Euro bracing to go across the top here. Alright, so the bracing's in. Tomorrow what we're going to do, we're going to clean these co the corners out. And then glue the cross bracing in. So... I've got two 80mm bracings for each end and then 200mm bracings for in the middle. Um, one thing I will say, it's crazy like 80mm bracing on a two foot wide tank, it's quite invasive. Like that seems like such a small gap left over to me. Um, I think it's because I've never built a, ta a tall two foot wide tank. So this is three foot high and two foot wide. The only tanks I've built are two and a half foot wide. And when you put 80 mil bracing on them, it doesn't look as bad as that. Um, that's got blood on it, but I don't think it's mine. No, not mine. Um, that's kind of gross. But anyway, so I'm not sure if I'll film the cross bracing. I probably will actually, because I'm not going to do the cross bracing after work tomorrow and then get home at six o'clock at night and do a vlog so i'll say it now tomorrow's tomorrow's vlog not blog is going to be all the cross bracing which might be a short little vlog guys which isn't a bad thing i don't need to do a long vlog every day wow guys it's so strange in here when there's no one here um my workmate carl he left and i'm just here by myself I work in a factory with like over 15 people, so when there's zero people, it's so quiet and it's kind of weird, like you hear all these weird noises and shit, and then I get anxiety that I'm not locking the factory up properly. I don't really like doing it, but like shout out to my fucking boss actually. I know a lot of people don't get an opportunity like this like he's leaving me in the factory oh well he actually doesn't know that i'm here to be honest but he allowed he <laughs> he's okay with me staying here and any of my workmates for that matter i've got my keys that's a good thing and letting us build whatever the fuck we want um i order all my glass through work no, I will not order the glass for you. I don't want to abuse that right. Um, but I get the glass crazy cheap. Now, I can't remember the fucking alarm code. On. Exit now. We did it, guys. We, we, we were out. Um, obviously, I can't show you the code. And it's the world's worst door. Um, sorry I can't show you the code. That would be a bit silly if I showed the code on camera. And I'm rambling again. This is an outro. What time are we up to? A minute 52 for an outro. What an absolute joke. Alright guys, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.